it's literally one of my favorite topics to talk about. And today's the perfect day because it's December 11th, which is uh, Max Born's birthday, actually. If you guys head over to Google, you'll probably see the Google logo with uh, Max Born and scratching his head with a wave function. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about wave functions and what exactly are and uh, why Max Born won the Nobel Prize in physics. Well, this is one of the equations. Um, you guys might have seen it uh, on my Instagram. It's a part of an equation. Um, it is actually part of the wave function, which is a way you measure a particle. Uh, now, no, I'm not talking about a particle like this uh, or like an actual thing here in the macro world. This is what I like to kind of call it. I'm pretty sure people refer to it as a macro world. I don't know. Um, I'm referring to quantum physics and quantum mechanics and quantum particles. Um, really, really, really tiny things that actually make up you and me. And um, the way that you measure them, I did a video once on Schrodinger's equation, um, and that actually talks a lot about the wave function of a particle and how to actually figure out where it's located and through this uh, we ended up finding out uh, through mathematics that a quantum particle may actually exist in one place and another simultaneously. Uh, that's known as a superposition of particles. This is part of the equation that Max Born had derived and realized that if you actually square a location of a particle based on a, the direction in which it's going, uh, this has to do with funny little arrows. And one of them is if you go in like the negative direction or the positive direction on a number scale, uh, that in itself are two arrows, but they're going in a horizontal path. And when it comes to quantum particles, uh, we like to imagine that the arrows can also face upward, which would be like an imaginary number direction, or it can face diagonally. But either way, it still is a certain measurement in which it can actually travel. So one main goal is to figure out where the end of the arrow is. Just like if I were to go from here, my kitchen, because I'm filming in my kitchen, to my living room. That is an actual distance in which I am moving. However, I'm not a quantum particle, so it's a lot easier. You can just take units like, I don't know, feet or kilometers and stuff like that. And, I mean, it's not that far away, but you get the point. So when we talk about stuff like quantum particles, we have to do these measurements on a very, very tiny scale. So that's pretty much what this equation is representing. Um, it's that if you square the wave function, you then are able to come down with a little bit more of a detailed location of where the particle is. But then this later led into um, the Schrodinger's equation, which is a much larger and more in-depth equation, which I can talk about in another video if you guys like. But I just want to do that really quick video to say happy birthday, uh, Max Born. This is like really awesome. And he had some really cool quotes too that I'm going to share with you guys. So I grabbed my laptop because I actually wanted to read the quote for you guys. I think it's really cool. It's actually my favorite. Um, it says, intellect distinguishes between the possible and the impossible. Reason distinguishes between the sensible and the senseless. Even the possible can be senseless. Like, I don't know, I think that's the coolest thing ever. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I couldn't memorize it, so that's why I brought my laptop over. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. It's the first video I'm doing uh, with my new camera, so I hope this comes out good. Alrighty, so if you guys haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, let me know what other, um, I guess other topics you guys want me to talk about in astrophysics. Otherwise, I'll just keep going because there's a like, the whole universe, infinite universe of topics to talk about. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.